when it gets close to me. No, I think I've seen it. Please die. <gasps> that, no, that is not a hunter. That is not a hunter. That is a wannabe Demogorgon. You want to know the fun part? What? There's another one up here, apparently, and I have to kill it with regular... <gasps> Wait, I think I have a grenade. Do I? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Throw a grenade in its mouth. Oh, fuck. I don't have it. Did I leave it in... Did I leave it in... Wait, no. No, there's a grenade somewhere over here. Oh, yeah. It's 8 o'clock, man. It's a bee. When does sunset hit? It is civil twilight. Sunset has already hit them. I mean, that would usually be the time. That, uh... The fun part is tossing the grenade into the mouth of one of these sewer fuckers. Oh, okay. that makes total sense. I don't know if it instantly kills them, but it does deal a crap ton of damage. Why am I able to go all the way over here? I wasn't able to last time. 759, it was sunset. That would be the time that Sunset Pier turns on all of its lights. Most of its lights. Didn't get that. Could you try again? Siri, shut your mouth. I did not summon you. Oh, and uh... Something else worth noting is, if I get too close to these things, they can and will instantly kill me. I mean, I can pretty much tell. They're terrifying. It happened again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed them whole, head to toe. I tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cops said he'd probably <laughs> skip town, but I said no way. Not with this baby coming any day. But did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Fucking puke-breathing toad-faced motherfuckers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. And it's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Next time one of those freaks shows its face, I'm gonna hit it right in its ugly mouth. Big ugly mouth. Which is exactly what I'm supposed to do. Hit him where it hurts. Tomorrow will be one more day until Hungry Healer releases. Yeah! And it's gonna be amazing. It did look amazing. I mean, I, re I double checked the entire thing. Hey, buddy! Look Eat your dinner. Oh. Eat your dinner. What happened? Ow! I can't see. Ah! I thought that was instant death. <laughs> oh, just imagine that with Hunger Healer. Hey, buddy, eat your dinner. That was a great <laughs> I, was I was gonna say something cooler, but I flubbed up. <laughs> no, that's perfect. <laughs> load the bullets, load the bullets, load the bullets. Load the bullets. Yep, you come right this way, good sir. Bon appetit, you... eat lead. <laughs> bon appetit, eat lead. Come over here and see your dead brother. And now you shall join him. Burn and Jethel. <laughs> Bro is over here in the dark deception sewers, I swear to God. Well, at least, as dangerous as they are, at least they're generally easy to kill if you have enough bullets. Yeah. Just waiting for another one of these things to come slipping right out. Cause I'm gonna... Bang, bang. <gasps> Hello there, you! I was wondering where I would find one of you. <laughs> it's a little no. extra thing. I, f I don't know what happens if I get all of them. Probably some kind of cool extra bonus tool or something. I look like Slappy the Puppet as a fucking bobblehead. 
Apparently it's the mascot of, of uh, Uncle Toys, which was a building I visited earlier. Yeah. I mean, he did kind of look like Slappy from Goosebumps, but if he... <laughs> bobble it. Slappy from Goosebumps, but if he was more posh and British. Yes. I actually love I actually love Slappy. He's hilarious even in the movie. Oh, definitely. He was like a he was like a very very good villain. He's a very good villain. He's also very hilarious. He is. <laughs> Who you call a dummy? Dummy. <laughs> what the fuck there's like an item over here. to papa I got me some flame rounds now I just need to find me a grenade launcher Great gunpowder. Good <laughs> slappy. I swear to God. Hello, simple luck. Boop. I swear, that's, that looks like the same guy from IT. A love letter? My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with the incredible destructive power. And of course, that voracious insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of, of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed and you feed? Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Yeah, and then what happens when they don't listen to their master? That's usually how it goes. You create something grand and powerful, and then they realize they could do so much better without you. And then they turn on you. Ain't that just how the formula usually goes? Anyone want to mess with the likes of me? I got some, uh, shotgun bullets to spare. Or shells, as they should call them. Ah, uh, yep, see, I knew it, I knew it. As horrendous in death as you were in life.
Hmm. I wonder if it... Okay, I okay, these guys can jump. They most definitely absolutely can jump. How about you jump. kindly not? No, 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 no. Not. Man, why can't I on my computer? I don't even know in how in the physical science this bullshit is even possible with this goddamn preacher. That's right. That's right. You die. Thank God, too. I just about ran out of shotgun shells. I should probably find a place to stay before I go down that other way. You can't get through here, can you? No, you can't. Yeah, okay, I saw this one.
Okay, uh, one, one second. Oh, that was close. I was backed into a dead end. I was risking my life there. Okay, so it looks like I'm taking the golf cart out. It's gonna check and see if there's any deer outside. In real life? Yep, in real life. Oh. And I'll just take the golf cart, Dad. Don't worry about it. I bet. March 14th. Game is released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish, combat potential low. April 18th. Right, sorry, experiment with additional hormones and drugs. One of the Testament bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Umbrella has officially oh, wow. shut down gamma research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab for disposal. Dr. Logan Carlyle is more committed than ever to perfecting the gamma line. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers, increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gamma quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days, we're exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I, I have procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. We were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. A water treatment worker found to, uh, found his way into the uh, found his way into the lab, but the gamut promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. Thank you for purchasing the grenade the grenade grenade launcher. Oh, uh, We've made special oh, adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility sorry, with a variety I'm of just, ammunition types. I'm, for optimal performance, I'm, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as agreed. Explosive rounds, explosive A2. Flame rounds, explosive A, explosive B, acid rounds, explosive B2. Mine rounds, can't be readily crafted, not worth stocking up on. Won't help if we need to keep the gamers in line. Oh. <laughs> Here it is. Hi, Kaylin. I'm out in my vineyard now, just driving out some deer.
now taking in route to lane 55. That's nice. I have <laughs> a grenade launcher. <laughs> nice. I wonder how many flame rounds it would take to take out a single Gamma Hunter. I shall burn them all to a crisp. Given how, given how fucking ugly they are and they have a face only a mother could love, I think it's better I put them out of their misery. Take it back. Cool. You want to see how well this weapon works? Yeah. All right. Come at me, you frog face fucker. Open wide. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it only took one. I'm taking a look at the Puka horror movie. You know what it reminds me of? What? Tattletail. Wait, when did they make a Puka horror movie? Well, Hulu had that funny idea of making of like a Christmas horror movie about a toy named Puka, who which there was a life-size one that goes and kills people. Is this like the same cartoon about this girl who was in who was in love with this uh, with this guy who was always, like a ninja? Oh, no. Uh, no. So, different Puka. Yeah, different Puka. Is it P-U-C-C-A or P-O-O-K-A? P-O-O-K-A. Oh, okay. It reminds me of Tattletail, because the creature has the red eyes, like usual. It takes place on Christmas. Mm -hmm. Like, bruh. That's so weird. <gasps> Chewy! Yee! Yee -wee! Oh, I always thought you—I always thought you pronounced it chewy. I—I mm -hmm. I can pronounce it anyway. Chewy, chewy, anyway. Chewy, chewy. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> I do have that kind of effect. You're good at that kind of effect. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
không có thằng em chó <cười> <cười> You you're just like having this the this vi this very intense OMG I'm going to explode feeling inside of you. Yeah. This is why it's very adorable. <laughs> ah, you're welcome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Sounds like a plan. Ah, uh, yes. Let's hope he doesn't find me first. This is the greatest <gasps> plan. Man, what did I just say? Um, that's not good. That's that's not good. That's indecimally not good. Imagine you. Imagine you just getting. Imagine you just got your controls back after that funny cutscene, and then you just die instantly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Smart move, Jill. Watch out, for, watch out for Nemesis. He loves to commit arson. Man, this thing is, uh, not fucking around. I am in my bed acting like I actually am in a fucking ice cream cone. Aww. <laughs> When you when you just immerse yourself in the moment. Yes. I could actually feel my ear getting nibbled, and it's kind of weird. <laughs> you can tell how adorable it was. I know. Ooh, hello. Those look, those will come in handy. Explosions. So I've got flame rounds and explosive rounds now. Oh, can't forget. Combine handgun ammo. Imagine, imagine just making 
just drawing National Geographic of Timber just getting in their life-size ice cream cone. Oh, we just adorable. see here we, here we see the wild minto, also known as Timber, in their natural habitat. The minto is a very easily care, uh, very easily cared for little animal. He often has bonds with those unrelated, yet so closely related to him in relationships unlike any other. For instance, here we see uh, we see the uh, the mother Chewie, a sweet, sweet, loving dog that cares for the young, whether or not they're her own. And here we see her having a bit of playtime with him. She has a little blanket that she uh, she wraps the little the little Minto in, and gives him playful little ear uh, playful little ear nibbles. If that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Very awesome description, <laughs> That is, that is awesome. Yeah. That is a very awesome description. Okay, that definitely. And when the little timber gets bored standing there too long, they do a little yawn because they're little and they're sleepy. <laughs> or, as the little timber likes to call it, eepy. Eepy, of course. In the famous words of uh, in the famous words of Max from Sam and Max, why won't you just die? Oh, okay. Never mind. You died. Absolutely, you absolutely died. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just plop over on the stairs, why don't you? Gonna double tap. The more faster the tail wags, the more humming melody begins to play. And in some rare cases, we see a much more grown Minto who has a very special attachment to a, uh, to a little friend of his known as the Potato Puff. And this little Potato Puff has a heart of gold. And here we see the air, the room burning around me as I flee for my fucking life. I gotta get out. Quick. I'm having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> I know. This is like very, very entertaining. Oh, oh. And here, and here you see a very common but sweet sight. The Minto picking up the little potato puff and cradling him in his arms. The two have a special bond unlike any, uh, any other, whereas the potato puff feels protected, safe, and loved. The two often uh. spend, their uh, spend their time in a sweet little cuddle, because they are, la they are labeled cuddle buddies. Wow, that is fucking. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> this is so entertaining. Whoa, bad guy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. How did you Nemesis get up there so fast? Ruining... Nemesis literally loves ruining our moments. He just comes back. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy uh, ain't fucking around. I won't I let that stop me, him. though. And 
The Gurun Minto has a very special ability, Zen Caress. When it sees those who are troubled or otherwise stressed, it offers this special soothing ability. Just one little touch, and all of their worries and anxieties vanish. It's a very special ability that makes the Minto so very, very precious. The Minto also shares another power, which is also as precious. As one says, they call it Crescendo Control, the power to manipulate a single instrument without using an instrument at all, therefore the sound would generate. This is used to suit people's minds. It will also try and calm people down. The softer the melody, the more calming it is. Some might call it the Miming Maestro Art. Oh, it is on like Donkey Kong. Boss fight. Why do I hear boss music? Defeat the creature. Not even. Ow, 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 Stop it, fucking. Hey, what's this? Hey, shotgun shells. I just had a funny. Shouldn't have. It shouldn't have telegraph. Ow, ow, ow. You know what the hilarious Shoot. part is? What? I'm still at green health after all of those hits. <laughs> hey, Kaylin, uh, unrelated, but I just had this idea. Hmm? Like, when Timber comes up to someone who is, like, really feeling down, I'm just imagining, like, their stress and anxiety just going here, like, why do I hear boss music? <laughs> Dude, the, I just got the most fucking brilliant strategy. What? Ring around. Uh, I'm gonna play a bit of Ring Around the Rosie with him. <laughs> Ring Around the Rosie, pocket me. full of tank. You were you were facing me, okay? Okay, I, I gotta I gotta be very very careful. You got this, Kalen. You can do it. Ring a ring a rose. Ah, that's that's that's, that's where you are. Okay. A tissue, a tissue, a tissue. We all fall down. Oh, that feels so good to do. Oh, now he's angry. I might have- I might have just destroyed his weapon and I don't think he's very happy with me. Here, take another. Oh, shit! You're smart. You fucking dodged that like a boss. Oh, and now it's raining fire. It's raining fire! This guy. This- oh. <laughs> Still got hit by that fucker. Ow, 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 ow. Me and Nemesis would be besties. We both love pyrotechnics. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so this guy is definitely a lot smarter than I thought he was. Oh, hey. Explosive rounds. Oh, shit. I have to come over here to, in order to. Boop. Oh shit! Has to reload. Oh. You motherfucker. Wait, there's still some things I can collect. Oh shit. <gasps> I think I got him. Wait. 
I don't think he's very happy with me. It's still alive? Blow itself up? Partially? Well, this is an awkward situation. Jesus, God. pretty much accept my fate if I was like in this like the yeah, IRL no way I'm gonna defeat no way I'm gonna defeat him with this bullshit I'm not resigning to my fate not yet This is still a fucking awesome fight. God damn, how many bullets do you take? Oh. Hey, I did it. Oh, this is the price of being dumb. That was Shit. so cool though. He really got he really makes good use of that thing. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a bandage. Okay. Nemesis down? Yeah, not quite. <laughs> if only it were that easy. But hey, I'm back to full health again. Yay. Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Look at me. There we go. 
I literally had to reload because I walked past ammo and the game wouldn't let me climb back down. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna Google something real quick. Yes, those exist. What? An ice cream cone blanket. I need to own one for myself. Well, time to reload again because I have shitty aim. Mm-hmm. What would you do if the little timber appeared right in front of you? I would pick him up and cuddle him. Aww. I would do the same with Kaylin. Aww. Things just came around full circle. This is the RPD from Resident Evil 2. Wow, that's so dope. feel my finger throbbing and it's not a good thing. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's not like at a point where it's like terrible, but like pain on some sort of area and then you feel it pulsing and throbbing.
You can see the building burning in the background. Oh yeah. That is... That is oddly, impressively terrifying. To think the nemesis caused all of that. Now that's a lot of damage. I don't know why I'm going on my camera, I don't want to. Oh my god, that actually scared the living fuck out of me. <laughs> Fucking zombies snuck up behind me. Oh, okay, I could have just done that. You know what the great thing is about these explosive red barrels? What? They solve all my problems. Kabam! Because they, because they are explosive. Who doesn't love a couple of explosions? Right? Plus, makes it easier for me to take out any stragglers. Agreed. Oh, well, um, you were already dead, but now you're mega dead. I apologize, good sir. God damn. Man, Capcom does not fuck around when it comes to showing off just how much you absolutely char these zombies. That is so burnt. My auto barrel. Oh, yes, please. Gun stores are the oh, God, Jesus Christ. You're all right. You're all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We can use a man of your skill set. Um, bum, bum, bum. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Nothing. Just, uh, just bad timing is all. 
Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. Okay. I feel sorry for Kendo. Same. I mean, in the second game, he had to take out... He had to take out his own daughter because she was infected and there was nothing he could do. I know. It was really upsetting. Right there, it's something. Here we are. High grade gunpowder. Gunpowder. Apparently in this one, his daughter is still alive? What? I walked over to the door and I heard, Daddy, it's alright, Pumpkin, it's alright. That's a good girl. I don't know if it's... Hmm. Well, that's... What? <laughs> wow. So maybe this takes place before Resident Evil 3? No, 2, I mean. Maybe. I mean, we love me some we love some non-linear stories. Yeah. Fucker, I shot you in the face and you- Oh, okay. Well, now you're really dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, what has the nemesis done to these things? Oh, no. No, 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 stop it, no. Don't fucking jab me.
Okay, where's my... <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh yeah. Raccoon Times Raiders Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled. Deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids to a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder that on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are gonna roll, then let it be the manager's. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles. 69. Hm. <laughs> 69 years old. Nice. Jesus. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you... Rocket launcher? Really? You've got to be shitting me. That is so unbelievably unfair. No, I'm not having it. Fair. I couldn't even get up, what the fuck? What? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Fucking, wow. No, 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 I'm not, ha I'm not having any of that. 